Oh, magnify the Lord with me. That word magnify, when I think of that, I think of a magnifying glass. What's a magnifying glass for? It's to, it's to make something look bigger, right? But how is it that we can make God look bigger? I mean, he already is who he is, the same yesterday, today, and forever. How can we make God bigger? Well, I already gave the answer, we're making him look bigger. That's what the Christian wants to do. He wants to magnify, he wants to make God look bigger. And that's the problem in the world today. That's the problem in humanity is they've got too little of you of God and they've got too big of you of themselves. So he says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Right here in, this few, in these few words, we've got a statement of the chief end of man. We've got a statement of the real purpose of life. You know, that's, that's what led to my conversion to Christ as I began to wonder, why am I here? What is the real purpose of life? Why is everybody walking around? Why are we here? And then my brother came down two months after he was converted and, and shared that verse with me, that whether we eat or drink or whatever we do, do all to the glory of God. And so that's, that's the real purpose of life, is to magnify the Lord. Think of the Lord Jesus. Isn't he worthy to be magnified, to be glorified, to be honored, to be loved? For creation's sake, he created everything, right? Out of nothing. Created every molecule, created every man, created every woman every blade of grass, every leaf created everything that exists in him. We live and move and have our being. And so he's worthy to be magnified, but also in terms of redemption, worthy to be magnified because he has sent a redeemer. God has sent his son to redeem a fallen human race. The Lord Jesus came down and took upon himself human flesh just for us and lived a perfect, blameless, spotless life just for us and died a substitutionary death and was raised with mighty power and ascended in glory and seated at the right hand of God the Father and given a name that is above every name. Doesn't that make him all the more worthy to be magnified and coming again to judge the world and everybody's going to have to stand before him and bow the knee and say he's Lord and he's going to judge the world in righteousness? Yes. James is saying to Bethany, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, Bethany. Let's give our lives. You've said it in one way or another. Let's give our lives together to serve the Lord of glory. Let's magnify Him together. Two is better than one, right? Any mountain climber knows that. What a high calling to magnify the Lord together to spend your life together for Christ. God bless you.